Hey there, Bulldog Country. There's plenty of action in Bulldog sports last weekend, so let's take a look back at some of the top plays. Starting with the soccer team, the Bulldogs took care of Minnesota State Moorhead 2-0 on Sunday afternoon. Junior forward Nan Glinzik received a throw-in from senior defender Lizzie Fontis, and then Glinzik powers through a few Dragon defenders to fire home the game's first goal in the 22nd minute. In the 55th minute, senior forward Natalie St. Martin received a beautiful ball from junior midfielder Emily Hins, and St. Martin puts the finishing touches on it just before the Moorhead goaltender can get to it. Friday night, the Bulldogs also beat Northern State by a score of 2-0. Glinsick and senior midfielder Madison Carey were the goal scorers. This next weekend, UMD hits the road to take on Winona and Upper Iowa. The number four UMD women's hockey team remained at home last weekend where they took on Minnesota. Friday evening, the Bulldogs dropped the series opener 5-2 but made the series finale much closer. On Saturday, Gabby Hughes got the Bulldogs on the board first with her power play strike. Junior forward Riley Houston wins the faceoff. Maggie Flaherty takes the quick shot that is deflected, and Hughes is right there to corral it in front of the net to bury. On the second goal, senior captain Sydney Brott muscles her way to the front of the net for a shot that gets stopped. Lizzie Norton pushes the puck back out front of the net, and Anna Klein is right there to pop it in for her first goal of the season. The Gophers would go on to score twice in the third period to force overtime and a shootout. After Hughes and Houston both netted their shootout attempts, now this may look familiar. Junior goaltender Maddie Rooney denies the Gophers on both shootout attempts like it's no problem at all. UMD hits the road this weekend to take on the number two University of Wisconsin Badgers. Men's hockey debuted at home on Saturday to raise their 2018 national championship banner against Minnesota. A tight game that saw junior goaltender Hunter Shepard having to make some big saves throughout the night. Shepard stopped 27 of 28 shots. It wouldn't be until the 3.38 mark of the third period that senior forward Peter Krieger would net the Bulldogs' first goal of the game out front on the power play to tie things up at one apiece. And that is where things would stay for the rest of the game. Now the Bulldogs would fall 7-4 the following night to the Gophers, ending a program best nine-game unbeaten streak, which included an eight-game winning streak over the Gophers. UMD hits the road next weekend to take on Michigan Tech. Number 6 UMD football improved to 6-0 on the season with their 28-17 win over Augustana on Saturday afternoon. Key plays include this 9-yard dump pass to Wade Sullivan from John Larson for the touchdown and Tariq Abulabay's two interceptions. Abulabay's two picks were turned into touchdowns by the Bulldog offense, which would be the difference maker in UMD's victory. UMD volleyball team went 2-1 last week. The Bulldogs split last weekend, falling in four sets on Friday to the then number 10 Southwest Minnesota State and defeating Sioux Falls in straight sets on Saturday. However, the big match of the week happened last Wednesday at Romano Gymnasium when UMD upset the number 3 Concordia St. Paul in straight sets. The first sweep over the Golden Bears since October 11, 2014. In the process, the Bulldogs won their 18th straight home match. Senior right side hitter Sarah Kelly made her first appearance since the home debut against Bemidji State. Kelly averaged 3.4 kills per set and hit a team best .397. Junior setter Emily Torbery was named the NSIC setter of the week for the third consecutive week as she posted 13 assists per set and UMD notched 16.1 kills per set and finished the weekend hitting .275. Be sure to check in next week on all your latest Bulldog highlights. For UMD Athletics, I'm Austin Rush.